You know those Halloween packs you always skip by? They're good now. What's up, little pups? Today, we're going to be talking about the Trick or Trade packs of 2024. We've had 2022, we've had 2023, and now we have 2024 Halloween trade Trick or Trade packs. These are really hype, and I'm going to explain right now why. So as we can see, on Poke Beach, they showed the 30 Pokemon, and... The thing is that the special thing about these is that we are indeed going to get Galaxy Hall of Foil for each of the cards, which is really, really amazing because on previous sets, like uh, the one right here, we this is the 2023 one and the 2022 one, uh, you had the regular Hall of Foils for Sword and Shield and Scarlet Violet cards. Uh, we are going to get a reprint of the Pikachu, the same Pikachu you see right here from 2022. Um, and the Mimikyu, we've seen the Mimikyu. Now we do have the Loyal 3, the Fluttermane from Temporal Forces, and, and, that's, and the Dark Rite. Yo, I've always said that Dark Rite looks amazing. We also have a Gengar, customary, you know, traditional of the Trigger Trade Packs. Now the thing is, the special thing about this, apart from the ho ga Galaxy Holofoil thing, is that this set is also going to have an Umbreon. Oh my gosh. Do you know how do you know how crazy that is? We have we did not get an Umbreon in the last set, in the last 2023 set, set in the um 2022 set. Uh we, that's a beautiful Gengar though. Uh but anyways, besides that, yes, there's a bunch of reasons for why the trigger trade packs are now actually amazing like i actually even want to open them myself to be honest i have some um some psa prices of uh previous uh 2022 and 2023 trigger trade pokemon the most fan favorite ones like dark Rye from 2022 uh this dark Rye is beautiful he's from like the walgreen tins as well you can you can find them there uh, but this dark right here, honestly, I like this one more. But I mean, you know, it's whatever. It, it's the same dark right. Anyways, uh, as I noticed, the PSA 10 prices are really, really, really um, nothing too crazy. Uh, I'm guessing, obviously, the trigger trade packs are printed to oblivion. I'm guessing, obviously, you want to satisfy every single kid, every single family who's doing trigger treat. But the thing is that these have a special place because of the Galaxy Hawful, because of the uh, Umbreon, the Umbreon, the, the, respect Umbreon, Re Umbreon has a lot of uh, power to it, um, especially that Umbreon is a pretty cute one, you also have a lovely Houndoom, a Sprigatito, let me see, did we have Sprigatito, I, we did not have a Sprigatito, um, there's a, the Gengar, there's uh, nothing else too crazy about this set, but the uh, the Umbreon, the Darkrai, Gengar, definitely gonna be my chases for that's crazy crazy to say that the uh, the Trigger Trid set has a chase now. I mean, I guess it always had the Gengar or Pikachu chase, but I mean the Umbreon. Oh man, it's actually gonna be really fun to open this. I actually saw a comment on Poke Beach, like a really funny one that said, um, "A better sub than Stellar Crown." Not going to lie to you, I have to completely agree with this person. A better set than Stellar Crown for sure. <laughs> no. Oh man. Well, anyways, uh, for 2024, the trigger trade packs. What do you what do you guys think? Do you think uh it's worth opening more than ever before with the Galaxy Halfo and the Umbreon? Um, honestly, I, I could see this Umbreon even with a massive amount of printing with the with the beautiful Pikachu um, Jack-o-lantern or pumpkin symbol and the Galaxy Hall of Foil, which is something that a lot of people always look for. I could see that Umbreon being like a like a 50 maybe $75 card in a 10 with an insane amount of PSA 10s probably unless you know they they screw up all the uh the printings but uh anyways let me know let me know what you guys think and uh yeah I'll see you in the next news